What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Marco and on today's show, you know, this weekend it's the AFC and NFC Championship in the NFL. You've got the Eagles and 49ers facing off, the Bengals and the Chiefs going at it. And I started thinking, how can I make a football gaming video this week? And it dawned on me that we have a game readily available where you can play these two teams one-on-one. -on -one. And here's the best part. It's absolutely free. I'll link it down below. Well, it's free, but they ask that you make a donation to your favorite foundation. I made it to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Once upon a time, I was a Make-A-Wish kid. I'll tell that story someday on the channel. And that game is Fast Drive Football. Uh Created by Al Wilson, which I think we're going to have Al Wilson on the show at some point in time, in partnership with Play Games. And uh, this game is fantastic. So a couple of things before we go down to the game room that I want to intro about this game. One, it's really hard to replicate football on the tabletop. Some have been able to do it. Strat's got a good game. Appa's got a pretty good game. Uh, and Play Games has a pretty good game in second season. And they also do the Canadian game, uh, Cold Snap. Uh, but the issue that you always run into when you play football games on the tabletop, especially with Stratomatic, which Stratomatic will eventually make it to the table on this channel, and Apple Football, games can last two and a half to three hours. Yes, they're statistically accurate, but they take forever. Uh, fast Drive Football lives up to that title. It is fast. We are going to play both of the AFC and NFC Championship games today. And uh, I'm going to hold myself to this, but both games are going to get done in about 45 minutes total for both games. And accurate, by the way. And it's going to feel like you're watching the Eagles play the Niners and the Bengals play the Chiefs. And that's because, and I haven't cut these out yet, I will when we get downstairs or before we go downstairs. That's because the 2022 set is already out on Fast Drive Football. It's already here. Uh, not like Strat or APA, where we're going to have to wait till I think, July or August when the rosters drop. I mean, here we are in the middle of January. We don't have baseball yet for Stratomatic. We have it for APA. The season ended, what, four months ago? Uh, not fast drive football. The community never ceases to amaze me. They have the teams ready to go from the 2022 season. And, of course, here are the Niners right here. We're going to be playing with the Niners and Eagles. Chiefs and Bengals. Who's going to go to the Super Bowl? Let's head down to the game room and find out. All right, everybody. Now that we're down in the game room, we got our game all set up. It's time to find out who is going to the Super Bowl from the NFC side. We'll begin with the Eagles and 49ers. Uh, and first things first, this is not a full review of fast drive football. I'm going to do that in another video. I just want to get down and get going on this game. So a uh, couple of housekeeping things. This is our score sheet. This is our game book. I printed both of these out. I haven't laminated them yet. I probably should. And these are our two team cards. You'll see that the Eagles have the prolific, uh, have the prolific uh, rating, dynamic, reliable, efficient on offense. On defense, they're stiff, punishing, and aggressive. Uh, and for the Niners, they're prolific, dynamic, solid, and secure on offense. And on defense, they're staunch, stiff, and aggressive. And also, as I flip these cards over, I went ahead and did a little bit of a homebrew and added rushing and receiving touchdown getter. So obviously we are going to have Brock Purdy starting at quarterback for the Niners and Jalen Hurts for the Eagles. But I want to add a little bit, and you can find all these homebrews on the Fast Drive Football website. Again, I'll put that link down below. Some people have made some incredible homebrews, and I'm going to put one of these off to the side here. Um how long was the kick return? How long was the punt return for touchdowns, that is? Depending on where they are in the field, what yardage was that run? So we're going to be using some of those to get a little bit more detail. So without further ado, let's kick things off. So the Niners are the road team. So I'm just going to roll a green die. If it comes up one, two, or three, the Niners will start with the ball. And it's a four. So the Eagles are going to start with the football. I'm going to go ahead and get our quarter going. Mark down our first quarter. Let's head over to the kickoff chart and let's roll. And I hope you guys saw that. That thing went flying. Uh, so on the first roll, we ignore the green dye. You could use whatever dye color you want. Again, I'll cover all that in the review video. 
but I like to use the old APA format of red and white die. Red are your tens and white is your single digits. So we roll a 56 on the opening kickoff and 56 on the opening kickoff says receiving team tapes over with average field position. So the Eagles go to work in average field position to begin this game. And we're going to use, again, I'm going to use the uh, red die for our time markers. All right, so first drive of the game for the Eagles. And it's a 1-4-6, so only, the drive's only going to take one minute of time. And what happens on a 1-4-6? Staunch defense... Which, yes, they are, and but there's a dot next to it. So I don't have my decider die, but what I like to do when I don't have a decider die is I look at the green die, and if it's one, two, or three, it's yes. If it's four, five, or six, it's no. So that's a four. So they're not going to have the staunch defense on this drive. So in that case, ball carrier, stiff arms, a linebacker, and sprints to the end zone. Touchdown! Philadelphia, so the Eagles get on the board right away with a rushing touchdown. And I'm going to roll this die to find out who scored it. 15, that's Miles Sanders. So touchdown, Miles Sanders. And let's see how long that touchdown run was. From average field position, a two is a 66-yard touchdown run. For Miles Sanders. Wow. First drive of the game. All right, let's see the extra point. Jake Elliott, an 11 to 61 is good. 53 will get the job done. Extra point is good. It is 7 nothing. Philly right out of the gate. The Eagles come out firing at home trying to get to the Super Bowl. All right, let's roll our kickoff. I didn't need to roll the green die there, so it's a 15 Returner muffs the catch and is caught before he can get upfield. Poor field position. So more good luck for the Eagles. So the Niners are going to begin in poor field position. Forgot to mark off our one. We're only a minute into this football game. Not even a minute in. So let's see what the Niners can do with their first drive. All right, roll the... Uh, that was a two. So a two, two, three with a two on the time die. So two... Ticks are going to come off this drive, and we're going to consult our chart on a 2-2-3. Two, two, Undisciplined defense, question mark. No, they're disciplined. Mild defense. They're not a mild defense either, so this is going to be a punt. So the Eagles D forces a three and out, and the 49ers are going to have to punt. It's way too early to try and go for it. So uh, it's just a regular punt here. So let's roll the two die. It's a 15. Roll 1d6. On a roll of 1 or 2, the punt is blocked. Otherwise, it's average field position. Okay, so if it's a 1 or 2, the Eagles are going to block this punt. And they block it! Oh, the Eagles block it! So now, on a one, you got to roll another 1d6. On a roll of 5 or 6, it's a touchdown. It's a touchdown! Oh, my God! So a blocked punt punt return for a tutty for philly oh my lord fireworks on the first two drives of the game let's see the extra point for jake elliott that's good and bang it is 14 nothing eagles holy cow Man, if you're a Niners fan, I am sorry. This is not how you want to get started. All right, third drive of the game. Uh, I got to kick the ball off here. Jeez. All right, a 61. That's average field position. So the Niners will begin again in average field position. They're down 14 nothing already. We got another two on our timer die. It's a 2-2-3, two, two, so only two minutes Come on, it's, it's, uh, I forget if, I think each die roll is 90 seconds. I don't think it's quite two minutes. Um, but in my head, it works as two minutes. Um, okay, so two, two, three. What do the Niners do with the ball here? Undisciplined defense, no. 
Mild defense. No, this is a punt again. Look at this. So the Eagles D comes up big again and forces another punt. Will they block another one? My God. All right, let's find out. Let's see. A 61. Long punt, but negated by a nice return. Great field position. So the Niners get the punt off this time. And... But the Eagles are going to get a nice return. So they're going to have great field position on their what's only their second offensive drive of the game. And they're already up 14 nothing. All right. Eagles going to work on offense. It's a 2-2-4. Two, two, two more minutes come off. Still in the first quarter. 2-2-4 uh, two, two, is aggressive defense. Yep, they're aggressive. Defender jumps her out. Perfect timing. Interception. Oh, man. All right, so now we're going to roll a one through six. So Jalen Hurts gets picked off. What happens to it? Good run after interception. Opponent has great field position. So a defensive battle through and through. So the Niners will take over. My God, the what weird dice tonight. Niners take over. Down 14 nothing. All defense here. Only one tick comes off the timer. My God. So we're at about exactly five minutes to go in the first quarter of this game. And we roll a 1-2-3. I think that's good. So let's see. Uh, 1-2-3. Poor field position. Nope. Great field position, yep. Screen pass, catches the defense in a blitz. Touchdown, San Francisco. So the Niners, Brock Purdy gets right back into this game. Let's see who he threw the touchdown to at 26. That was to Brandon Ayuk. So TD, Brandon Ayuk, reception. Uh, how far did this go? They were in great field position. We rolled two die, combine them. That's a four. So that was a 30-yard touchdown strike. And we'll roll for the extra points. So Robbie Good Gold only misses on 57 through 66. So he is good as gold. And it is 14-7 Philly. So the Niners get one back after two disastrous drives one on offense and one on defense and we're still in the first quarter so uh, i keep forgetting <laughs> we got to kick the ball off first so kicking off here a 35 that's uh receiving team takes over an average field position so the niners uh the eagles rather are going to get going here with average field possession position uh four ticks left in the first quarter so let's see if we could run out the first quarter here. That won't do it. So two minutes come off. It's a one, two, five. Two minutes off. One, two, five. And on a one, two, five. Solid offense. Nope, they're not solid. Uh sorry. Solid offense, no. Punishing defense, no. So it's a regular punt. Alright, so. The Niners force a punt here, regular punt, 31, perfect punt execution, pins return team deep in poor field position. So the Eagles respond by pinning the Niners deep in poor field position to start their drive. All right, so the Niners here needed only down a touchdown now, so they've recovered a bit from that disastrous start. There's a big number. So four minutes come off or four. Uh, no, sorry. That's still only two ticks on a four. Interesting. Okay, so two ticks come off. So this is the last drive of the first quarter. And it's a 3-4-4. Four, four. Mild or undisciplined defense. Nope. Defense comes through with a big stop when it's needed. Punt C-O. So that's a coffin corner punt that the Eagles have forced 
the 49ers into. So let's see what happens. We're rolling the red and white die here to see what happens on a coffin corner punt. A 12. Ball lands in the end zone for a touchback. Receiving team has average field position. So back-to-back -back punts. And it's going to be an average field position for the Eagles. And that is how we get to the second quarter. So this will be the first drive of the second quarter. And the Eagles up 14-7. A lot of fireworks early. But starting to settle in now for a more defensive battle. Roll another four. So two more ticks come off. Into the second quarter now. It's a 4-5-5. Five, five. And on a 4-5-5, five, five, dull offense. No, they're not dull. The quarterback lunges across the goal line for a score. Touchdown run. Jalen Hurts puts the Eagles into the end zone once again. And from average field position, let's see how long this run was. An 11 is a 48-yard rumble. Wow, a 48-yard run for Jalen Hurts. All right, let's check the extra point from Jake Elliott. 65, it's no good. Jake Elliott misses the extra point. So it will stay at 20-7 to Eagles. We'll see if that comes back to haunt the Eagles later in this game. But I don't think they mind so much as they've got that nice 20-7 to lead here. About to get to halftime. All right, let's kick this back off. It's a 51. That's going to be average field position for the 49ers. And they need a couple scores. They need them fast. Let's see what happens. So roll the five. So three ticks will come off. Let's tick them off here. And it's a five, five, six. Poor field position, no. A fish and dry capped off by a short pass for the touchdown. Brock Purdy. And that touchdown pass was to George Kittle. So touchdown pass to Kittle. And from average field position, a nine. It was a 24-yard strike. And now the Niners are, it's 14, uh, 20 to 13. Robbie Gold looking for the extra point. He misses. Wow. 20 to 13. So back-to-back -back scoring drives capped off by back-to-back -back missed extra points. My word, when do you ever see that happen? Okay, well, it's 20 to 13 Philly. We're about to hit halftime here. A handful of ticks left. See the kickoff of 45 says average field position. So the Eagles go to work. Average field position. Uh, so neither, yeah, the Eagles have the efficient rating. So it says here with five minutes or less to go in the half, drive times may be reduced or increased by one tick to reflect the team's strategic use of the clock and timeouts. Well, uh, we're not there yet. We still need three more ticks till we get to the final three minutes. But keep that in mind that the Eagles have the efficient rating. The Niners do not. So the Eagles could either increase or decrease the ticker by one when they get the ball back because they will get the ball back one more time before the half at least. All right, there's a five on the timer die. So we're going to mark off three. And look at that. It's going to put us right into that final couple minutes. So it's a 3-5-5. Five, five. Prolific offense. Uh, decide or die. One through. Yes, they are. He's through the hole and nobody's going to catch him. Touchdown run. And that touchdown run, lots of scoring here, was capped by Mr. Miles Sanders. That's his second of the game. And from average field position, roll the six. That was... A six-yard touchdown scamper by Miles Sanders. So he had a 66-yarder and a six-yarder. It's 26-13 Philly. And now let's see if Elliott can get the extra point. And that time he does. So 27-13 Philly. Mike. 
Tough sledding for the Niners. Let's see if this is how it happens for real on Sunday. Uh, probably the last possession for the half. We'll see. So here's the kickoff of 14. All right. Uh-oh. Roll 1d6 on a roll of six. The returner's in the open. He's not. So it's just going to be average field position for San Francisco. Five minutes to go before the half. Niners trailing 27-13. Wow, there's the big one. So six. So this is going to take up the entire remainder of the half. So this is the last drive of the half no matter what. And it's a 5-6-6. Six, six. Shaky offense. Nope. Staunch defense. No. It's a touchdown pass. Look at this. So Brock Purdy in, what is it, his 10th? Career start, 11th career start, throws another touchdown strike. This one to McCaffrey. And the Niners will cut the lead down just before the half. Uh, how far was it? So a, a nine, it was a 24-yard touchdown strike. Uh, let's check for the extra point. It's good as gold, so it is 27 to 20 Philadelphia, and we have hit halftime, and I'm looking over at my iPad clock, which times everything. We're only 19 minutes into this game, and we're at halftime. Um, all right, so the Niners are going to get the ball at the half, so the Eagles need to kick us off here. And they rolled, uh-oh, return team electric. No, they're not. But the Niners are going to get great field position to start us off in the third quarter. And they are down by seven. Hell of a game so far. Lots of scoring, lots of fireworks, both on offense and defense. But we are now getting down to the wire. You know, I haven't been updating this, so our score sheet here. So at the end of the first quarter, it was 14 to 7 Philly. And then at the half, it was 27 to 20 Philly um I know you're supposed to do it the old-fashioned way where you just mark off the touchdowns um as they as they happen but I like seeing the, the score progression instead of adding it all up at the end all right so let's see what the Niners do they're down by a touchdown uh we got a five on the timer die so maybe the second half is gonna fly by here a five is three ticks so three ticks off. It's a two four five. Two four five. Dynamic offense. Uh decider die says no. Or a soft defense. They're not soft at all. So no. Uh porous offense. Uh no, they're not porous either. So this is gonna be a coffin corner punt. So could have had a lot of things happen there if some of the uh, some of the stuff was a little different, but alas, it will not happen. So we got a coffin corner punt for the Niners. They roll a 54, so it's going to be average field position for the Eagles. And they have that seven-point lead. Let's mark off that that was a punt there. So they have the seven-point lead. Trying to extend that. It's a 1-1-5 with a 1 on the timer die, so just one tick. So this is a fast drive for them. A 1 1 5. Poor field position, no. Undisciplined offense, no. Is this going to be a field goal attempt? Okay, so why not? A field goal attempt here. So a field goal is an 11 to 61 for Jake Elliott. Uh, and, you know, I just realized something that I was reading the field goal rating for both of these teams and not the extra point rating. Stupid me. So but we're still going to leave it the way it is. I'll remember that for the Chiefs Bengals game next. So we've got a field goal here uh, and there is a way to see how far this field goal is. I don't, you know what? And I don't know if I have it here. Um... No, I don't. So we're just going to say this is an average field goal attempt. So let's call it 40 yards. So Jake Elliott, 11 to 61. It's good. 63. He missed it. Wow. 
missed field goal. Oh, boy. So, uh, I believe the rule there is the Niners are going to take over with uh, average field position. I thought it would be great posi field position, but you think about it, you're not going to kick a field goal from the 50-yard line. That would be a 68-yarder or something. Uh, so, average field position for the Niners We'll see if that haunts the Eagles later on. So here we go. Niners now still down by seven. A six, uh, three, six, six with six on the timer die. So all four dots are getting checked off. So this is a long punishing drive for the Niners. And a three, three, six, six, poor field position, no. Offense pushes downfield and caps the drive off with a short pass for six points. Touchdown, Niners. And oh, we've got a football game. 33. So that was to Ayuk again. Touchdown pass to Ayuk. So I believe that's three for Brock Purdy. Uh, and that was from average field position. So... A 9 is 24, so another 24-yard strike. Now let's see the extra point. I'm looking at the extra point now. Um, so let's see here. What do we got? 11 to 64 to 61. But good thing I was looking at the right chart that time because he would have missed that. So Robbie Gold puts it through. And guess what, everybody? We got a tie football game with five minutes to go in the third quarter. Buckle in. Who's going to go to the Super Bowl? All right. Here we go. Kick it back off. It's a 26. So it's going to be average, an average field position start for the Eagles. A five again on the timer die. So starting to get bigger numbers now. So three ticks come off, still in the third quarter. A 245 says. Dynamic offense. Yep, they're dynamic. We got a red dot. Oh, boy. Okay. Reroll. Offense moves into great field position. Reroll. But we're going to disregard the timing value. You know, I don't think I've ever rolled that before. Okay, so we got to reroll and disregard the time. So it's just going to be a 3 4 6. And a 3 4 6 says. Great field position. No, they're average. Erratic offense. No. Discipline defense. No. Field goal attempt. All right. Another field goal attempt for the Eagles trying to go up 30 to 27. Uh, I'm looking at the right chart this time. 11 to 61. It's good. The 33 will do it. So field goals up and good. And it's 30 to 27. Philly in the dying minutes of the third quarter. Let me just set something right here on the iPad. I'm tracking the time because on these uh, cameras I'm using, uh, they cut your recording off at 30 minutes. So I may need to stop maybe when we go to the fourth quarter just to reset the cameras and get going again. All right, so kickoff for Philly. It's a 45, so it's going to be average field position for the Niners. Okay, they're down by three. Here's San Fran. Five more minutes, or five, uh, sorry, three ticks come off. That is the end of the third quarter, so we have to dip into the fourth now. So we're two ticks into the fourth quarter. It's a one five five. Secure offense. Uh, decide or die says yes. Punt. <laughs> Defenders rip at the ball during the tackle, but the runner holds on. It is a punt. So, go to our punt chart here, and it's a regular punt. 55. Receiving team takes over with average field position. So, we are now officially into the fourth quarter. That's going to be a punt. It is 30 to 27. I'm going to pause the cameras, reset. And Philly's going to begin their drive in the fourth quarter. Okay, we're back to Philadelphia. The Eagles are beginning their drive here in the fourth quarter. They lead it 30-27. to 27. 
This could be a put away drive. Let's see. A one, two, five. So a five will mark off three. So getting down to the end here. A one, two, five for Philly. Solid offense. They don't have that quality. Punishing defense. They don't have that quality. So it's a regular punt. So the Niners force a punt, and it's a big one. They're going to get the ball back here in the dying time of this game. A 66 punt return team electric. No. So he could have taken that back for a tutty. Instead, it will be great field position for the 49ers. So here we go. Big chance for the faithful here. We've got, how many we got left? Four, seven ticks left in the fourth quarter, and it's a field goal game. Niners down by three. A one four five with a four on the timer die, which means two ticks will come off. And a one four five says, great field position. Yep, touchdown pass, and the Niners take the lead. Woo boy, Brock Purdy, is he the man to bring the Niners back to the Super Bowl? 56, that one was to Debo Samuel. I believe that's four touchdown passes for the young man, Brock Purdy. That one from great field position was only a 12-yard strike, but still a good, exactly what they needed. A great drive, let's check the extra point. That's good. So the San Francisco 49ers lead this game 30 to 34 to 30 with not much time left in this one. Only five ticks. So this could be, could be the last drive for the Niners. So here we go. The kickoff. 36. That's average field position for Jalen Hurts and the Eagles. Can Hurts bring the Eagles to the Super Bowl? Can he give them the lead? The Niners are going to get the ball back because there is no die roll here that there is. Uh, well, hold on. The efficient team. They are an efficient team, so can they run this out? Let's read here. Five minutes. No, we have not, no, they can't because we have one more tick in addition to five minutes, so they can't use the ability here. They get a three. It's trips threes. Oh boy, it's going to be, this is an unusual result. So we got something freaky about to happen here. Let's find out. So at three, two ticks come off and triple threes, poor field position, no. Uh, so unusual result B. So let's find out what happens. Table B. So we're going to roll two dice and read in ascending order. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. Let's let's do these. So a 12. Offense fails to convert on fourth and inches in the red zone. Defense takes over in poor field position. Wow. So a turnover on downs. Woo. So fourth and inches near the goal line. And the Niners D stands tall. And they're going to get the ball back here in poor field position. Only three ticks left in the game. So if the red die is a five or a six, and providing they don't turn the ball over, this game is over. So here we go. It's a three, so the game is not over. So the Eagles are going to get the ball back guaranteed. Oh, boy. But what do the Niners do here? If they score, I think it's done. Well, if they get a touchdown, it's done for sure. Three, three, six. Staunch defense, no. Stiff defense, yes. Defense, oh, defense at bat breaks up a long pass on third down. Coffin corner punt. Look at this. All right. Coffin punt. 55. Receiving team has it in average field position. So this is it, everybody. This is the last play, last drive of the game. They've got two ticks left. They're an efficient team, so they're going to use them all. So this is it. And let's see the desperation play. 
To be used if a losing team's fourth quarter drive uses exactly the number of ticks remaining in the game and they do not score. All right, so we're going to roll the die. One, no. So only one tick will come off. So that means, yeah, so this is, this is the last play of the game. Uh, all right, one, five, five. What do the Eagles do here? One, five, five, secure offense, no. Clumsy offense or active defense, no. So it's punt, but desperation play. We're gonna have we're gonna let them do the desperation play. I'm pretty sure that's what this rule is designed for. So in average field position, roll all three dies. If the sum of the three die is a six, the quarterback buys time and heaves it downfield and it's caught for a touchdown. So oh my god. So if these three die equals six, the Eagles are gonna win this ball game. If not, San Francisco's going to the Super Bowl. Holy cow. All right, let's see. Two, three. Oh, my God, they did it. The Eagles connect on a Hail Mary. It is a touchdown. The Philadelphia Eagles are going to the Super Bowl. Holy cow. Who caught this ball? It's Devontae Smith. Touchdown on a Hail Mary, Jalen Hurts. Oh my goodness. Eagles win it 36-34 on a Hail Mary. Oh my God. That's fast drive football. <laughs> what else can I say? That's fast drive football. That's game one. We got a whole other game we got to play. Oh my God goodness the eagles do it on a hail mary 36 34 so that's it sorry 49ers fans if this is how it really is going to end for you guys on sunday i will feel terrible for you but my god philadelphia going to the super bowl on a hail mary pass from jalen hurts to Devonte smith they win it 36 34 that's game one of fast drive football that we're going to play tonight. Game two coming right up. It is the Cincinnati Bengals traveling to Arrowhead to take on the Chiefs. Who's going to meet the Eagles in the Super Bowl? Woo! What a game. All right, I'm still buzzing from that game, but we got another game to play tonight. Who is going to play the Philadelphia Eagles in the Super Bowl? Is it going to be the Cincinnati Bengals or the Kansas City Chiefs? Let's meet our two teams first before we get going. The Bengals on offense, they're pass heavy or pass centric. They're secure, they're disciplined with a decider die and efficient. On defense, they've got a mild but undisciplined defense with that decider die. The Chiefs, we all know who the Chiefs are at this point. They're prolific, they're dynamic, they're solid, they're efficient on offense. And that defense this season has been punishing. So let's see who starts the game with the ball. One, two, or three is going to be the Bengals. And will not be the Bengals, it is going to be the Chiefs. Receiving the opening kickoff, and that opening kickoff will put the Chiefs in average field position, and we are underway here in Kansas City. First drive of the game, a 1-6-6, so a quick drive for Mahomes, and what happens during this drive? Dahl offense, no. Receiver leaps, beating the defender of the ball. Touchdown. Right out of the gate, Kansas City. And this one was to Jarek McKinnon. Wow. Did not expect that. Didn't have McKinnon on my bingo card for the opening uh, opening touchdown. So McKinnon is into the end zone. It's 6-0 Chiefs. Butker's extra point is good. So right out of the shoot, it is 7-0 Chiefs. And they will kick it back off to the Bengals, a 63. So they will begin in average field position. So let's see what Joe Burrow and the Bengals can do in response. Rolls a 1-2-3. That ought to be good. So two comes off the clock. And a 1-2-3. Poor field position, no. Great field position, no. So this is going to be a punt. 
So the Chiefs defense comes up big. They get the punt. It's a regular punt, a 52. So the Chiefs will take over in average field position. And it is still a 7-0 game. So Mahomes again rolls a 2-4-4. Two, four, four. two on, the, on the timer die. So two come off. Just under 10 minutes to go in the first. 2-4-4. Two, four, four. Poor field position. No inept defense. They're not inept. So this is a field goal attempt. And Butker is 11 to 53 good. That's good there. So field goal is good for the Chiefs. It is 10 0 Kansas City. All right. First two possessions are on the board. Bengals need a response here. It's a 64. That's average. Field position for Cincinnati. So every drive has started in average field position for both of these teams, but not much going so far for the Bengals. At 1 4 5, 4 is 2 off the clock. And a 1 4 5 is great field position, no. Inept defense, they're not inept, so this is a field goal attempt. So the Bengals and Evan McPherson. We'll try and get the Bengals on the board. He misses a, oh man, a missed field goal. And that's going to give the Chiefs the ball in average field position. You know, I, I, I need to reread the rule book here because I don't know if I'm doing these missed field goal uh, field positions correctly. Let me know in the comments. I'm all about playing the game correctly so i think you get it because to me the logic is you're not kicking the field goal from 50 yards from the 50 yard line that's a 68 yarder so i would say that's average field position to me great field positions anything on the other side of the 50 so kansas city takes over with average field position it's a four a three four four with a four on the timer die so under five minutes here in the first and a 3-4-4, mild or undisciplined defense, and they are undisciplined on this drive because the decider die is 1, 2, or a 3. It's a 3. So this is going to be a field goal attempt again for Butker. This one is good. So Butker's hit 2, and it's 13 nothing Kansas City. Not an insurmountable lead by any means, but... The Bengals need to get something going here. All right, kickoff, that's going to be average field position again. So look at this, every drive in average field position so far. Here's Cincinnati, a 2-2-3. Two, two, two on the timer die. 2-2-3 two, two, says undisciplined defense, no. Mild defense, no. Punt, all right, so... They force another punt. Cincinnati will have a regular punt here. It's a 22. Perfect punt execution. Return team is pinned deep in their own territory. Poor field position. So Kansas City. So finally somebody starts in something other than average field position here. All right. So... Mahomes has a little bit of work to do, but he's got a 13-0 lead. So here we go. 1-3-4, only one off the die. And this will be the final play of the quarter. 1-3-4. Poor field position. Yep, that's a punt. Okay. So a regular punt here. A 32 Perfect punt execution puts the Bengals in poor field position. So, field position battle so far, but the Chiefs do have that opening touchdown and a couple of field goals, which amounts to a 13-0 lead. Bengals need to get going here. One, two, three. Three in the timer die. Two comes off into the second quarter now. One, two, three. Poor field position, you bet. That's a punt. So once again, the Chiefs defense coming up big. A 54 is average field position for Kansas City. 
So pretty much all punts here in the early going, but plenty of football left. Kansas City with a ball. One, two, five. So only one tick. This is a fast drive. One, two, five. Solid offense. You bet they are. Good protection gives quarterback time to get rid of the ball. Punt CO. So I think that was like a long third down here. So they're going to get a coffin corner punt attempt. Rolls a 42. Decision to play the field position works out great. Pinning the opponent deep. Poor field position. So, I mean, so far, Andy Reid's game plan working pretty well here. They got the quick 13-0 lead. It's been all defense ever since. I don't think that's going to hold, but we'll see. So, Kansas City punts it over to Cincinnati. They'll begin their drive in poor field position. It's a 1-2-4. So two come off here. Under 10 minutes to go in the half now. A one, two, four. Uh, season prior to 2014, no. Great field position, no. Uh, punt. Okay, another putt. 32. Perfect punt execution. So the Bengals give the Chiefs a little taste of their own medicine and pin them deep. So, one, two, three, four, five straight punts now. And we are quickly approaching halftime here in the AFC Championship game. All right, three, five, five. This will be a little longer drive for the Chiefs. Three comes off. One, two, three. So, five minutes to go. Three, five, five says prolific offense. Uh, decide or die says yes. So Mahomes hands it off. It's to Jarek McKinnon again, and he's going to rumble into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. And Jarek McKinnon, that one was from poor field position, so that's going to be a 24-yard rumble into the end zone. The extra point is good, and it is 20 Two, nothing. Kansas City. Woo! It's turning into a route. The Bengals need to get going, and now. Kickoff is going to be average field position for the Bengals. And they have the efficient offense quality, so they can add or subtract one tick to whatever the roll is. So I think they're going to just try and play out the half because they are going to get the ball at halftime. Uh, which reminds me, I have not been updating our scoreboard up here. It was 13 nothing after the first quarter. So the three ticks will come off. So they're going to go ahead and just run out the half here and use all four because they have that efficient quality. So a 3-5-5, five, five, but what do they do with it here? 3-5-5, five, five, prolific offense, no. Inept defense, no. So it's a punt. <laughs> Jesus. Coffin corner punt, 25. That's poor field position, but it doesn't matter because that is going to get us to halftime. And as of right now, it is all Chiefs. The Kansas City Chiefs lead this thing 20 to nothing. And so far, they have a date with the Philadelphia Eagles in Arizona for the Super Bowl. But we got a whole half of football yet to play here. So the Chiefs will kick it to the Bengals. And the Bengals will begin in average field position, and that's how the third quarter is going to begin here at Arrowhead. And the Bengals need something. They have been blanked so far this game. So a four, that's a fairly quick drive. Two ticks to begin. A one, two, four. Uh, it's not prior to 2014. Great field position. No. So this is a punt again. Man, I better start thinking about going for it here on some of these fourth downs. So they'll punt it away. And it's Kansas City will have it in average field position. Bengals need to stop badly here. 3-3-5. Three, three, uh, three ticks come off. Under 10 minutes to go. 3-3-5. Three, three, in the third, that is. Great field position, No. Drive stalls just short of field goal range. Coffin corner punt 
on the way. Okay, so the Bengals defense do their job. Chiefs roll a 26. That means decision to play the field position works out. Pinning the opponent deep. It is poor field position for the Bengals. All right, down three scores now with about eight minutes to go in the third quarter. So I'm going to start thinking about going for it on fourth downs. They need to stop punting the ball. Uh, touchdown would be great. Three, four, six. Two ticks come off. So pretty quick drive for Burrow and the Bengals. Three, four, six. It's on this chart here. Great field position, hardly. Erratic offense, no. Disciplined defense, no. Field goal attempt, okay. Uh, chance to get on the board once again. McPherson will hit this field goal if it's anything under 57. 45 is good. So finally, the Bengals are on the board. It's 20 to 3. And they'll kick it back to Kansas City. 42. Yep, that's average field position. So here come the Chiefs. A 1-2-6, very quick drive for Mahomes and the Chiefs offense. A 1-2-6, reliable offense, no, they don't have the reliable. Or meek defense, no. Shaky offense, they, they're not shaky. Or aggressive defense, no, so it's just a punt. Okay, Bengals D coming up big two drives in a row, another punt. Poor field position, so the Chiefs will continue to play the field position game. But now, the Bengals have an opportunity here to get back in this ball game. They need a touchdown badly here, and it's almost triple sixes. So, four six six with four dots. So this will end the third quarter, and a four six six says staunch defense. No. Impressive drive ends with a great pass and catch touchdown for Joe Burrow and the Bengals. And that one was to Hayden Hurst. So touchdown pass from Joey B to Hayden Hurst. So the Bengals now, it's 20 to 9. They will just kick the extra point here. Oh my God, and he missed it. Wow. Oh. Nothing is going right for the Bengals. So it will stay 20-9 to Kansas City. Whew. Wow, it just might not be the Bengals' day so far. But all right, this is it. So we're into the fourth quarter now. First the kickoff, and the Chiefs will take over in average field position. So they could – this is a put-away drive here. If they score – if they score a touchdown, it's certainly over. If it's a field goal, the Bengals still have a – Life support of a chance. Oh, man, they get the six. So they're going to drain this clock, too. So, yeah, Andy Reid knows what he's doing. And so does Patrick Mahomes. A 2-6-6. Six, six, drains the clock. Passive defense, no. Clumsy offense, no. Active defense, no. Is this a punt? So the Bengals do their job again on defense. A 65. So great. Exciting return. Great field position. For the Bengals, so all in all, a net positive drive. So this is, I mean, this is basically the game for Cincinnati right here. Great field position, down by 11 points. They're going to go for two here to uh, only need a field goal. But let's not even think about that. They need the score first. So five, that's not good. So three dots will come off. So we are uh, down, I mean, they, not a lot of time left. Let's call it five and a half minutes to go. Um didn't mark that punt off there. Okay, so a 1-2-5. Solid offense, no. Punishing defense, yep, punt. Coffin corner punt, yikes. Uh, yeah, I have to go for it. Okay, so fourth down, go for it. So here we go. We're rolling on the fourth down chart. So one uh, six-sided die. It's a one. Ball carry stopped well short of the first down. Oh, turnover on downs. And it says opponent takes over an average field position. So Kansas City comes up huge. And now the Bengals are going to need a prayer 
As Kansas City, if they roll a six, this game is pretty much over. <laughs> it's like I spoke it into existence. Okay. Uh, so that's a six. So four ticks come off. One, two, three, four. So it's all academic now as all the Bengals will... Uh, there's really no chance here, especially if the Chiefs score. All right, five, six, six. Shaky offense, no. Staunch defense, no. Oh, it's over now. Patrick Mahomes drops back, fires at the end zone, and it is cut for the touchdown by Juju Smith-Schuster. And the Kansas City Chiefs are going to go up. We'll check the extra point. That's good. They will go up 27-9. to And that, my friends, is what they call a game ender. Uh, it's academic from here because Kansas City, or excuse me, the Bengals have no shot whatsoever, but we're going to play it out. Uh, kickoff, average field position for the Bengals. Uh, they only have one tick left, so really this is just for stats at this point in pride. They roll the five, so no matter what, this is the end of the game. So it won't be the electric finish we got in the Eagles game, but maybe Joey B throws a feel-good touchdown pass. So let's find out. Two, five, six. Great field position, no. Home or disciplined defense, neither. It's a punt. Doesn't matter. They wouldn't punt it anyway, uh, just for the hell of it. Let's go for it on fourth down. What difference does it make? Highlight real play keeps the drive alive. First down. Okay, so what happens here? Uh, offense will re-roll in great field position. Uh, what the heck? Let's do it. Uh, two, four, five. Dynamic offense, no. Soft defense, no. Poorest offense, no. It's a punt anyway. They're going to go for it again on fourth down. They roll a three. Stiff defense. No, otherwise it's another first down. Uh, it doesn't matter at this point, folks. They're just doing this for, for fun. So another clutch first down for Joe Burrow. We are in uh, – this game is over uh, for all intents and purposes, but I just want to see what happens here at the very end. Uh, disciplined offense. Decider die says no, so – uh, it's just a field goal attempt, so again, just for pride, they get it. Doesn't matter anyway. And that's it. The buzzer sounds, and we will have a final. The Kansas City Chiefs take out the Cincinnati Bengals 27-12, and they've got a date in two weeks with the Philadelphia Eagles down in Arizona for the Super Bowl. And that is fast drive football, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll find out if this is the real result on Sunday. Is it going to be the Chiefs and Eagles? Or will it be the Bengals and Eagles? Or the Bengals and Niners? Or the Chiefs and Niners? Uh, but if Fast Drive Football has anything to say about it, it will be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Philadelphia Eagles in the Super Bowl. Uh, once again, this game is absolutely free and so much fun to play. You just have to make a donation to your favorite charity. I chose Make-A-Wish. Um, absolutely awesome game. Shout out to Al Wilson. Absolutely phenomenal game. I want to have him on the show at some point. I'm sure he'll do it. He seems like a great guy. Um, get your copy today. And, uh, who do you have in the Super Bowl? Um, I think I'm going to go with Niners Bengals. I think that's the Super Bowl I want. I don't know if that's the one we're going to get. And I don't know if I should disobey the dice gods here who have chosen the Chiefs and Eagles. Fast Drive Football, thanks for watching. This was the AFC NFC Championship, and we will do a Super Bowl matchup as soon as we find out who will be playing in that Super Bowl. We'll see you next time, everybody. Thanks again.